Shalom. I'm your brother Yeramya from the branch of GMS, South Carolina Midlands. And before we start off, all praise, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and who rule well. And Shalom unto you hopeful elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Just a quick lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Dealing with power will be increased. And um, for you brothers out there, you know, believe it or not, you know, you already have power, man. Okay. You already have a form of spiritual power. All right. And that's in you. Uh, believing in the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, being able to understand the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai via, you know, the Rakakwadash. All right, but, you know, we know according to the word of our Lord and our Savior Yahweh Shai, you know, he told us that greater works than what he did, you know, we're going to be able to do. And, you know, Yahweh Shai did many things, man. You know, so much so. You know, that if it was to be written down, you know, the world couldn't contain the books, you know, that uh, going into what Yahweh Shai did, man. You know, performing miracles, man, with that power that he had, man. Okay, but Yahweh Shai said, we're going to be doing greater works, man. Okay. So, uh, proving the point, you know, that we already have a form of spiritual power, you know, through understanding his word and pushing his word. This is the book of Acts, chapter 1, and uh, verse 8, it says, but ye shall, matter of fact, I'm going to start up, I'm going to start at verse 6, but the point is in uh, verse 8. Uh, this is Acts 1 and 6. It says, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, and this is the disciples, uh, later named apostles, asking Yahweh Shai, Saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? You see the mindset, you know, of our forefathers back then. You know, they wanted the kingdom of heaven, you know, to be established then, man. Okay. And, you know, we have that mindset today because we know that that time is not too far off, man. Okay. But listen to what Yahweh Shai, you know, replied and answered unto them. Verse 7, and he said unto them, it is not for you to know the time, times or the seasons which the father had put in his own power. See, only the heavenly father knows when he's going to send back his son, Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, to come and redeem the hopeful elect of the house of Israel and set up the kingdom of heaven, you know, to establish the kingdom of heaven, you know, here on earth. Okay. Well, verse 8, here's the point. But ye shall receive power. Okay? Let me read that again. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost, which we know is the Rekakwadash, the Holy Spirit, is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria. And we know that the... Uh, the disciples later named apostles, they were witnesses unto Yahweh Shai, you know, in those places, man. Okay, in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria. But peep this. It says, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. So, you know, the apostles, they didn't venture over here to the other side or the uttermost parts of the earth here in the Americas and the islands, man. Okay, you know, that part of that scripture, you know, a prophecy was fulfilled here today, you know, via the reincarnation, you know, the the disciples, later named apostles, and all the disciples that Yahweh Shai had that followed him, you know, they're back here today in the reincarnation, man, okay, and they are witnesses unto Yahweh Shai once more, they have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy, man, 
out here prophesying on the highways and the byways, man, over here in the uttermost parts of the earth. So you see, we have power already. Okay? The only thing is, is that that power is about to be increased. Okay? So now let's get the um, the scripture where Yahweh Shai said that we're going to be doing greater works, man. All right, this is St. John chapter 14 and verse 12. It says, verily, verily, which means truly, truly, I say unto you, and this is red letter Yahweh Shai, he that believeth on me, believing on Yahweh Shai, the works that I do shall he do also. And Yahweh Shai did many works, man. Okay. Turning water to wine, feeding a multitude with little, you know, walking on water, healing the sick, the blind, okay, uh, raising the dead, okay, Yahweh Shai did many things, and, and like I said, you know, it, it, the books, you know, if they were written, the world couldn't contain it, matter of fact, getting that point, St. John 21 and 25, it says, and there are also many other things which Yahweh Shai did, the which, if they should be written every one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. Amun, you see, Yahweh Shai did a lot of things that uh, wasn't written down, man. Okay, and the world couldn't contain, you know, if it was written down, man. Okay. So the Lord said the works that he did, uh, we we'll read it, man. St. John 14, 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I did, uh, it's like it, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my father. Yeah, because Yahweh Shai goes unto the heavenly father, Yahweh, because that's the power source. He is our power, man. He is, man. Okay? So we're going to be doing greater works. And that's where you get into, you know, brothers being able to fly. Brothers getting that uh, spiritual strength. So on and so forth. You know, to be able to run and not get weary, man. Okay? That power is coming unto us. And we have power now. It's going to be increased. Alright? And that's when... All the world will know that we are Yahshua Allah. Yah meaning he, Shah meaning prince, Allah meaning power. We are princes of the power. Starting with you brothers, man, you men. And for you sisters, you are princesses of the power. You are daughters of Yahweh. Okay? Reading this, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. It reads, but they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, and that's you hopeful elect, being patient, long suffering, okay, partaking in the sufferings of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, man. But they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, shall renew their strength. And that's when we get that power, man, okay, strength and power beyond measure. It says, they shall mount up with wings as eagle. That's brothers being able to fly. Yes, we're going to be able to fly, man. Okay? It says, they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. You ain't going to break. You're not going to lose stamina. Okay? You're not going to be at a loss for breath. All right? And... You know, you're going to be uh, basically like the Flash, man. Okay? You're going to be as strong as, as Superman. Okay? As fast as the Flash without losing uh, stamina. Okay? So on and so forth. Because we're going to be fully tapped in, man. To Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? That's what's coming. Until you hopeful elect out there, man. And we got to continue to endure, man. Because, and you know, to make a point, we got to continue to push this word. Okay? 
Because uh, reading this, this is Jeremiah chapter 16. It's all about the payoff in the end, man. Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, and that's the prophets. Out there pushing forth the word of Yahweh Shimei was shy, and the bait is the word, man. Okay? You know, the, the word would lure in the hopeful elect. Okay? So the Lord said he will send forth many fishers, you know, the brothers, pushing forth the word and the truth, starting with the uh, the head elder apostles and the head elder uh, uh, bishops of great millstone on down. The brothers who are entered into their labors. All right. We are fishers, man. Fishers of men. Um, St. Matthew 4 and uh, 19. It says, and he saith unto them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. See, we're fishing for the hopeful elect with this word and this truth. Back in Jeremiah 16, 16, Behold, I will send for many fishers, which is the prophets, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and they shall fish them. And after I will send for many hunters, and that's those fishers pushing forth the word and the truth, being made into hunters, man. Receiving spiritual power. All right? To get vengeance on our enemies. It says, And after I will send for many hunters, so that shows you that there's a time and a place for us to get that payback, man. Okay? That's when the Lord, you know, uh, will give us the green light to get that payback. But we got to remember, Yahweh Shai gets first dibs, man. Okay? It says, And after I was sent for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. And that's dealing with our enemies, starting with the wicked elite. They're going to try to hide in these bunker resorts, okay, within the mountains, within the earth, okay? You're going to even have some try to hide in these little space stations. We're coming for all of them, man, wherever they may be, okay? And we're going to gather them, man, all right? And we're going to uh, get that payback, man, okay? The big payback when we get that power, man, and that power is coming, all right? And best believe, when we tap into that power, everybody going to know. For, from, the, from the unbelieving uh, two-thirds who don't believe in his word and his truth, who don't believe in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, on down to the heathen from Esau to the other uh, rest of the heathen nations, everybody going to know that we are Yahshua. We are Israel, man. We are princes of the power. Hosea 1 and 10, it says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Yeah, we're, we're uh, a vast uh, people, man. Okay? One tribe of the house of Israel is like a nation in, in itself, man. All right? And we've been scattered via captivity, man. We're all over, man. It says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass, which is prophecy, that in the place where it is said unto them, ye are not my people. Yeah, we're not recognized as being the Israelites. All right, the sons and the daughters of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, The people of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai. We looked at as blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, uh, uh, lowly people, man. All right, the bottom of the totem pole. Okay. At one point, two-thirds of a man. Okay. But... Reading this, or, or yeah, I believe it's two thirds of a man, if I'm not mistaken, man. Pretty much, Esau didn't even classify as as as, as being human, man. Okay, we was looked at as animals, all right. But it says, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it is said unto them, "Ye are not my people," there it shall be said unto them, "Ye are the sons of the living power, man." They're gonna understand that we Israel, man. Okay. So, Lord will, this is edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That power will be increased. We already got that power now. We got to continue to have faith, continue to believe in this word and push this word. And the Lord going to, you know, fully tap us in, you know, to that power, man. Okay. So, I'm going to end up by giving all praise unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Kahe la Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham. 
Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of great millstone who teach and who rule well. And Shalom unto you, hopeful elect, scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. And with that, Shalom. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.